three-year-old Philly Pace, $36,081 this division. Total purse, $300,671, sponsored by Tattersalls and the Red Mile. These are the horses. Number one, Hawaiian Flash. Roger C. and Roger C. Bartley Jr. of Ohio. Ron Stack Trains. 16 of 26 lifetime, 295,000 in earnings, 150 and four at Woodbine. Number one, Hawaiian Flash and Ron Stack. Number two, best laid plans. John Gorshak the third of Warwick, New York, Monty Gelrod Trains. Nine of 32 lifetime. 261,000 in earnings, 151 at the Meadowlands. Number two, best laid plans, and Luke Ulad. Number three, Michelle's Fantasy. Jeffrey Snyder in New York, New York. Get heart curings. Nine of 30 lifetime, 395,000 earnings, 154 at Maywood. Number three, Michelle's Fantasy, and John Campbell. Number four, Presidential Speed. Millar Farms of Newmarket, Ontario. Greg McNair, Trurings. Three of 22, Lifetime. Earnings of $67,000. Mark of 155 and a qualifier at Mohawk. The four, Presidential Speed and Tony Kerwood. Number five, Armbro Ticket. John Burns of Ontario and Fielding Equine of Ontario. John Burns trains three of 25 lifetime earnings of $102,000 153 and four at the Meadows number five Armbro ticket and Greg Wright Jr. Number six hot and humid Dan Altmeyer, Richard Kelson and Barry Waiter of Pennsylvania Dan Altmeyer trains eight of 30 lifetime 129,000 in earnings 154 at the Meadows number six hot and humid and Dave Hello. And number seven, in for life. Southern Cross Table, Triple T Racing Table in New York. Carl Conte Jr. Trains, two of 11 this year. 186,000 in earnings, 150 and four at Woodbine. Number seven, in for life and Daniel Dubay. Jugget, third division. Hawaiian Flash, Best Laid Plans, Michelle's Fantasy, Presidential Speed, Arm Road Ticket, Hot and Humid, and In for Life, and here they come. Third Division, the Jugat. They're off and pacing, and Hawaiian Flash goes right out for the lead. Taking a seat, second best laid plank. Up on the outside, arm road ticket. Now third, now second, going on for Greg Wright Jr. Racing fourth, Michelle's Fantasy. Down the backside, presidential speed fifth. Hot and humid is sixth. Treading the field, go on to the first quarter mark. Yeah. In for life, opening panel 26 and one. They're getting faster every division in that first quarter. On the outside, Armbro ticket is hung by Hawaiian Flash. Racing third, best laid plans. Racing fourth, Michelle's Fantasy. Fifth is Presidential Speed. In the stretch, first time. In for life from way back goes three wide. Up the inside, hot and humid as they race over to the halfway. Way point 55 and 1. Second quarter and 29. Off stride in for life. Racing to the back side in the 5 8. Hawaiian Flash has been pressured every step. Racing all over Ron Stack's shoulder and helmet. His best laid plans. Backing off his arm road ticket. Three wide around the horses. That's Michelle's fantasy. Now third. Dave Pallone and hot and humid. Up the inside. Fourth. Three quarters. One. 24 and 2, 29 and 1, third quarter around the final turn. Hawaiian Flash continues to lead on the outside. Best laid plans now, second and going on. Hot and humid is third. Michelle's Fantasy fourth. Down the stretch they come. Best laid plans. Hawaiian Flash, hot and humid, closing on the outside. Coming to the wire. Best laid plans. Here they are. Hot and humid second. Hawaiian Flash third, one, 53 and four.
going to the winner's circle. Winner of the third division of the John Gat, number two, best laid plans, John Gorshak the third of Warwick, New York, Monty Gelrod, the trainer. Rio Philippe Cam best of Wendy Ann Hanover gets the 10th win in 33 lifetime starts. Comes home a winner. 153 and 4. Final half, 58 and 3. The final quarter, 29 and 2. Best laid plans. Left in the winner circle for the third division of the Jagat. Monty Gelride looking pretty sporty out there in his uh, polo t-shirt and shorts as uh, best laid plans from his barn owned by John Gorshank III of New York. Gets the job done here with Luke Willett in the sulky and what a year it's been for Luke Willett. And he drove Hawaiian Flash to that big mile up in Canada, 150 and four and drove her in the Fan Hanover final and she tired on the lead there. So he probably said, well, what the heck? I'll just draft along behind and take my chances. Especially off of that speed duel. Uh, he had to know if he was able to get out, he would win it. And uh, seemed, things usually seem to work out for Lukey for the best. He made a good decision there, uh, stayed in and then had enough in the stretch to get there. Certainly uh, wasn't exactly overpowering though. So ninth race. Number two, best laid plan.